Pocoyo and Ellie and Pato. Hi! What's that you're playing? Marbles. Let's see. You need to get your marble into that small hole right there in the middle, right? And how is everyone doing? What about you, Pocoyo? That's a special black super marble. Oh, I'm sorry, Pocoyo. You almost had it. Well, whose turn is it now? Wait! What's happening? Yes, Pocoyo, but how did your marble move all on its own? I think you've discovered a black hole. It'll suck up anything nearby. And you know what that means, don't you? Pocoyo, this is no time for dancing. Now come on, get away from that hole. Good idea, Pato. Grab that tree. Hold on, everyone. <laughs> this is rather funny, isn't it? But I'm afraid we have to get Ellie out somehow. Can anyone switch on the light? Well, that's a relief. Everything seems to be fine, except for one minor detail. All the colors are reversed. Pato, you're not yellow anymore. Now you're purple. And Ellie, now you're green. You'd like everything to go back to normal, wouldn't you? Well, maybe there's a way. Are you thinking about how to get back to your world, Pocoyo? Well, you know, maybe your black super marble is the key. Maybe it can take you back home. Yes, Ellie, that's it. In this world, Pocoyo's black marble would be white. Now what? There you go, a white hole. Jump in, everyone. But Pato, don't you want to be yellow again? This certainly isn't your world. You're all made of paper. You'd better find that marble.
Good job, Pato. Oh my, your balloons now. You're back home, guys. You didn't leave anything behind, did you? That's a good question, Pato. What should you do with it? Uh -huh. It looks like Pocoyo has an idea. A rocket? Oh, I see. Well, then I'd better start a countdown. Ready? Three, two, one, <laughs> Well, look at that. It's a magical nighttime. See you soon.